Hey guys, my name is Trevor. Today we're gonna do an oil change on 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's the 5.7, or sorry, the 4.7 liter V8. I'm thinking the Chevy 5.7 cause my Corvette back there. 5.7 LS motor, LS1. But we're gonna be changing the oil on the Jeep today and it's a pretty easy project. All you really need is your oil that you use, maybe some gloves. I bought this Surf Surebuilt um, filter wrench from AutoZone. I actually have all three since they're all different sizes, but that's the biggest one that you can get. I can tell you the actual sizing. And then I've got my socket wrench sitting elsewhere right now but I need to get the oil There is the drain right there. And when we get under here, I'll show you more. Get to the size. And then to fill it, you just fill it right here. You can check your oil back here. And that's that's about it. So we'll go ahead and get the the plug under there, undone, and start from there. So sit you down here real quick. Now that I've got my left tricks, we're gonna go ahead and grab the oh, they got mixed around. Grab the 14 in the truck. is too big so I'm gonna go 13. I'm actually in my sets that I got. Bam, there it is. 13. So a 13 millimeter. So, I'm going to get you guys down here real quick and show you what we're working with right here. I have that extension on there so that way when it's loose I can just do it with my finger. Now, I'm going to get the camera back. I really don't want to get oil all over it. Let alone myself. If I can see, it's going to slowly start dripping out of there now. Place where safety glasses really. But also why I wear gloves. So we're gonna let that drain. 
While that drains, we'll get the filter off. So normally, AutoZone has a deal where you buy the five quart, you get a free filter or some kind of deal like that. So we just went with the better free deal, the STP S16 oil filter. Get the focus on there. I have to actually. The 16 oil filter and the 5 weight 30 oil. We've got five quarts here and then a quart there. Normally I get the quart extra just because we burn through oil. But when I put a new filter on, I don't ever let it go in empty. So we're gonna fill that up real quick. Just a little bit. We don't like them dry starts. Put that lid back on. Here, my headlamp light is bright enough, but it is right. I can get the right I can probably show you through this peak hole. So, right there, you can see it my finger there. That's oil filter that's where we're aiming for so get you guys back down here and we'll get to taking that out Nice 
get the one, one quick quiz. This hand fight's really all I gotta do. Turn it on there. Just to be sure. So it says it's lefty loose and it's always gotta go right first. Make sure it's tight before it's loose. You always do that. In this case, it's already nice and loose now. Just pull this back here. Filter is boiling hot. We're gonna back up as much as we can. Just kind of twist it off. So let me oil drain out. Here it comes. That drain for a minute. Some more. Hi, wifey. Why aren't you getting dirty down here? Happened to put the boys to bed. <laughs> oh. Do you need help? If you want, get dirty. Um, let me go. Let me I go. mean, I'm I'm pretty much done already. I just gotta get this filter out. Okay, well, let me go make sure they're laying down. Alright. Alright, well, now that the filter's drained a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the rest of the way. It's still really hot. So, once you get that filter out, you can push it over to the side. Get your hand out of the peephole. Bring it through the side, tip that bad boy over, place it right there. Now, here's our nice new filter. Put it in the same way. Up, put it in here. Flip, down. Put one hand through the peephole. This belt hand tight and then do quarter turn. Otherwise, when you come to take it off, you're gonna have to stick a screwdriver through it to get it to twist out, so don't over tighten it. So now we got that all done, all buttoned up, <laughs> move up top and start pouring fresh oil in. Check for any leaks. So like I said before, fill the oil here, and you check your oil back here.
after I get a little bit in, I like to go double check, make sure there's no leak. So get my headlamp out, look up with the filter, and filter. Check the plug in the back of the oil pan. I don't see any leaks there either, so we should be good to go. I'm go ahead and finish filling her up. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos or over the Corvette behind us, 